rotation. Head shock. God damn. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, dude. working hold on yes all right hello everyone i'm dsp welcome to the week in preview welcome to the very first week in preview being broadcast live from my new home in washington state this is my new office that i am broadcasting from and just to prove to you that it is not another undisclosed location i left some of my moving boxes on the side here for a little bit of uh scenery to show you that the place is still a mess. The place is wires everywhere, no wire management. There's boxes and bins that we haven't had a chance to unpack yet. It's absolute bedlam out here right now. And uh, it's going to be like that for a few weeks until we finally get into the gist of things. I get back used to, to streaming and recording at the same times that I usually do. Um, you know, basically, it's going to be a time of transition, all right? And I, first of all, want to first and foremost apologize to everyone who maybe was hoping that by now I would have been back into the gist of things and doing two streams at the usual time. My schedule's all thrown off, especially for the next couple of days. It's still going to be thrown off, as we're going to talk about in this week in preview. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to stream consistently at the times that I used to stream at. However, the goal is that by the end of this week, I am back onto that old consistent schedule of two streams a day that I used to do. Okay? So, let's talk. All right? Today, well, yeah, let's actually start with yesterday. Yesterday, I finally came back from my, my over two-week hiatus and my move out here to Washington. I tested out streaming here from Washington for the first time. I'm very happy to say the internet here is great. The internet here is consistent. It's fast. It's allowing me to do streams with no frame drops and no issues whatsoever. So, so far, so good. I'm very pleased with my internet here in Washington State, and it's turning out well, okay? Um... And yesterday I did do my first stream back. It was Ultra Street Fighter 4. We had over a thousand people on the stream at times. And I want to say thank you to anyone who jumped in after, you know, that long hiatus and attended or spread the word about it. And today as well. Today I had a stream. It was completely off-timed. It was supposed to start much earlier, but it did not because my furniture was being delivered. But we had another stream of about three hours of Sniper Elite 3 uh, on the PS4. So we are getting new content, and yes, it is uploading to my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming. It's just not as consistent as it used to be uh, with my old schedule, okay? But let me talk a little bit about what's going on, what to expect this week, what games I'll be playing, and hopefully by when everything will be back to normal, all right? Ah, okay. I see some people saying that there are medium quality watching this on stream and it's pixely. That's your internet because I tell you right now, I'm watching it on source quality on my laptop and it looks great. It's clear as hell and it's excellent quality. Okay. So, let's talk about this week and what's going on. Okay. First of all, tomorrow, what's going to happen? Tomorrow, the only thing that's out of the ordinary for me tomorrow is that my car is supposed to be delivered tomorrow. The problem is... No one ever told me what time it's being delivered. And this is a major problem. Someone was supposed to call me and schedule to have this car delivered, and they never did. They actually called at 6 p.m. my time while I was ending my stream, left a voicemail on my phone saying, oh, we need to talk to you about what time to deliver the car. I called them back, and they didn't answer. I left a voicemail. It's been almost three hours, and they haven't returned my call. So I don't know what's going on with this car right now, but the bottom line is this. Tomorrow at some point, my new car will be delivered, when it's delivered, I then need to jump in my rental car, drive my rental car down to the, the rental place, which is about five miles away, drop off the car, get a taxi, take the taxi back here, and then put my new car into the garage. So that has to happen at some point tomorrow, dependent on traffic and whatever. It could take upwards of more than an hour. We'll have to see what happens with that, okay? So the bottom line is I can't promise you, oh, I'll be streaming at this time because, you know, I can't. Because the car could just show up at any time because these jokers didn't tell me what time they were coming. Which sucks, but that's the reality of life, okay? So that being said, tomorrow I do want to do two gameplay streams for you guys. My goal tomorrow was actually to do two different things. First of all, I wanted to continue with Sniper Elite 3. And then I wanted to do a second stream that was going to be the Watch Dogs DLC. Now, I don't know how many of you are aware of this, but while I was on hiatus moving, 
a Watch Dogs DLC came out that has exclusive missions to people who bought the season pass, but then it actually ended up being released this week for the the you know the, the the public people who did not buy the season pass you could just get the DLC separately. So I was very interested in checking that out. I was thinking about doing that on second stream. So tomorrow, the rough schedule for Monday is going to be Sniper Elite and then Watch Dogs DLC as long as everything goes okay with the car. When I figure out about the car, I'll let you know via Twitter at they call me DSP. This has been the critical resource for, for this whole move for you to find out what's going on with me because I can't, I couldn't upload for a long time and I just to give people in the know on what was going on. I've been taking pictures and photos of things when I forget my camera and I don't get to vlog about it. So at they call me DSP, DSP, at they call me DSP, please follow me on Twitter. It's critical that you do. That's where you're going to get all the updates and info about me, okay? So that's tomorrow. Tuesday. I am fully aware that the final episode of The Wolf Among Us, it's episode 5, comes out on Tuesday, but it's only for PC and PS3 purchasers. Unfortunately, My Wolf Among Us has been purchased for the Xbox 360, and therefore, uh-oh, I can't do the DLC yet because it's not released then until Wednesday. So Tuesday, another day where things are up in the air, and here's why. I would love to tell you, oh, I'm going to play more Sniper Elite, or maybe, oh, I'm going to start Transformers or something like that. But I can't because what's happening on Tuesday is uh, OJ's girlfriend, Carol Ann. If you don't know who OJ is, he's a lifelong friend of John Rambo. He's a friend of mine. We've attended multiple conventions together. He came over and was there for my final CT send-off party that I had a few weeks back. And uh, his girlfriend, Carol Ann, is actually one half of the owners of Athena's Wink which is a company that makes all kinds of arts, crafts, clothing, cosplay accessories, all related to video games and anime. And she's currently in the Seattle area for, if you can believe it, I believe it's a brony convention because she's selling merch there. And she said she's here till Wednesday. I said, well, I know today was going to be too busy with the furniture being delivered. Tomorrow with the car, that's throwing everything off. And obviously Wednesday may be the last date. So I said, gee, maybe we could do something Tuesday. So we're trying to work out the logistics of that. Once we do... What that means is that, unfortunately, for streaming, several hours of that day I'm going to be busy, and it's perfectly fine. I know people, oh, Phil, you should be playing. Listen, listen, it's just simple. We don't know anyone out here, and that someone is that we know is actually coming out here to hang out, and we want to hang out a little bit. We're going to take that advantage. We're going to jump on that, that opportunity rather than say, oh, I just need to keep working, keep working, okay? Not to say that don't worry, I am going to get back into my old schedule. Absolutely I am, but for now, I'm just letting everyone know there's probably only going to be one stream on Tuesday, it may be more Sniper Elite. It may be the beginning of Transformers, depending on how long Sniper Elite is and how far I get into that game. And that's how it's going to work, okay? So then on Wednesday, now we're talking about kind of getting into the normal normality of stuff. I'll have a first stream that will either be, say, the conclusion of Sniper Elite or the beginning of Transformers if I've already beaten Sniper Elite, okay? And the second stream will be The Wolf Among Us Episode 5, and it will be completed on that second stream, all right? So, Thursday, same thing. First stream is going to be a major gameplay stream. My second stream is actually on Thursday going to be Hate Live. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I have decided that I want to do an episode of Hate Live. I've got a lot of stuff to talk about. But, I mean, in particular, as you guys can realize from here, from just talking about the trip to Washington, what it was like moving in, all the stuff that I've experienced since I'm out here. I have a ton of stuff to talk about and discuss with you guys regarding the new place. I'm sure we're going to have live callers who are going to have lots and lots of questions. So I am going to do Hate Live this week. It is going to be Thursday night, the usual time that I do it. So I will try to start at around 8.30 p.m., 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And my time, obviously, is three hours earlier. We will try to do a normal episode, but what it'll be is instead of gaming news, it'll basically be the first segment, me just talking about the move and everything, and the second segment will probably be all live callers coming in to ask all kinds of questions about my move, okay? Okay. Friday. Friday. Again, another full day of streaming. We are going to be doing um, probably a major, you know, major big chunk first stream and another game second stream. You might be saying, well, Phil, you're not very specific. And the reason is this. I don't know how long Sniper Elite is. I don't know how time-consuming the car thing is going to be tomorrow. I don't know how time-consuming, you know, hanging out with Carol Ann is going to be on Tuesday. So the last thing I want to do is sit here and say, 
I will be beating Sniper Elite by this day. I will be playing Transformers on this day. But basically, here's the gameplay lineup for this week so you guys are not confused. All right, here we go. Sniper Elite 3, Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. Those are two games I'm definitely going to be playing through and hopefully both completing this week. The Last of Us DLC, which is... The Last of Us? Oh my god. The Wolf Among Us <laughs> Final Episode DLC, which is on Wednesday. Um... And then the possibility of returning to UFC. You guys remember, I was playing UFC as the last thing before I left uh, Connecticut. And I just had won the title, the heavyweight title. I have not defended it at all. And I think it would be hilarious to see me defend it for a while. Uh, keep in mind, I'm going to be incredibly, uh, incredibly rusty at the game. Simply because I haven't played it in weeks now. And I'm probably going to have to re-remember re uh, or relearn the controls when I actually start playing it again. So... Basically, Transformers, Sniper Elite, The Wolf Among Us, and UFC are the four major games for this week. Now, that's not to say that come this weekend, oh, I got a craving for Ultra Street Fighter 4, and I really want to play it, okay? But the other one, this is one that I'm sure a lot of people want to know about as well, this game called Valiant Hearts. This is a DLC title or downloadable title. You can't buy it retail. It was advertised at E3. People were saying, oh, this looks really good. People are saying it's really good. I know nothing about it besides the little trailer I saw at E3. I've not been following along. I know it was released during this downtime when I wasn't doing anything. And I am actually looking forward to doing that as well. So there's that's going to be in this week too. So what a jam-packed week between two games, full playthroughs, Valiant Hearts, another one, the final Wolf Among Us uh, you know, episode, Hate Live. There's a ton of stuff going on this week. All right. Now in addition to all that, there's even more going on this week. Wait till you hear this. So, for those of you who haven't been following along, unfortunately yesterday we had major, major technical issues. My PC was not working at all, okay, at all. And I tried everything possible under the sun. It took three hours and finally I got the effing thing to boot. And I said, that's it, I cannot risk it any longer. I was going to hold off on getting a new PC, but I can't anymore. I have to do it because at this point I can't put it off that I'm not gonna be able to work because my PC was fucking old as hell never was built properly in the first place and doesn't even want to turn on anymore. So last night I went online and I took the advice of everyone on my forums on thekingofhate.com. I want to say thank you to all you guys who posted up in that forum thread all your suggestions. I took all your suggestions to heart and I built myself a custom rig on cyberpowerpc.com. I ordered it. Boom. It's on room. In fact, it should be here no later than Wednesday of this week. In addition to that, I bought two different Black Magic capture devices. One's an internal card, one is an external USB 3.0 thing. And then I found out apparently there was another one called Avermedia that could do 1080p 60 frames per second supposedly easily. And I got that one too. All that equipment is arriving this week. All of it. Okay? And so about midweek, mid to late this week. What I'm going to probably be doing is trying out my new PC. I'll be doing an unboxing of it, showing you what it is, booting it up, trying to get it to work, set up with XSplit, set up with capture devices, and see, gee, can I now record in 1080p, which I cannot do right now because my PC can't handle it. Can I play a game like Street Fighter 4 and put it in full 60 frames per second, which I can't do right now. My PC cannot handle above 30 frames per second at all. Even when I tell it to record 60 frames per second, when I play back the footage, it claims it's 60 frames per second, but you watch and you say it's only 30 frames because the PC couldn't handle it. So this PC is supposed to be a beast and should be able to handle higher quality and higher frame rate, and that's awesome. If I can buy at the end of, let's say, this week to the end of next week, upgrade to 1080p, 60 frames per second, and really have some really outstanding quality video footage, how awesome would that be? Okay, so that's coming this week as well, and don't worry, I'll be vlogging that, I'll be covering that, and that's something that I want to emphasize with everyone, just because I'm now in Washington State and I'm living here does not mean that you're going to see the vlogs go away. I know that a lot of you very much enjoyed the daily vlogs that I was doing as I was moving here into Washington. Well, guess what? As long as I've got fun stuff going on with the hamsters, I've got stuff going on here with the PC, I've got stuff going on as we're going out and experiencing new things. As you guys have already seen, DSP tries it, has got a whole big reinvigoration already. I've done three items, and there's tons of new food and stuff in this area that I could do DSP tries it for. There's different restaurants and stuff we're trying out and we're filming. So... It's all going to continue to be vlogged on my YouTube vlogging channel, The King of Hate Vlogs. Don't think, oh, Phil's moved in, that's it, it's over. It's not, okay? Um, 
So, all this is in the works. And that's what I mean. What a crazy week this is going to be between all this new content, between me getting accustomed to the new setup, between the car arriving, between hanging out with Carol Ann, between the new PC showing up, trying out new capture devices later this week. This week is going to be insane, but it's going to be great. I'm, ha I'm happy to be back. Thank you to all of you who have been attending the streams, both the stream yesterday and today. Both gameplay streams had very high attendance. So I want to say special thanks to anyone who attended and or if you can't attend, please check out the videos on YouTube because as you guys know, YouTube is my lifeblood. If, I, if everyone watches the streams and no one watches YouTube, that doesn't work. I need to have kind of a good mishmash of people watching the streams and watching the videos on YouTube, okay? So it's going to be a great week. Thanks everyone for being patient during the downtime that I had, all right? And I ask please continue your patience with this new setup. As you see, eventually this is gonna be different. Eventually I'm gonna have a love seat behind me, not this little sectional couch thingy here. Eventually I'll probably have things like a green screen and other stuff going on on the fly. Thank you for being patient during the transition time and only better things are gonna come from this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's awesome and uh, very good, right? Only only better things from here on out, and I look very much forward to sharing all those experiences with you guys in the near future, okay? One final thing, because a lot of people have been asking about this already, is, Phil, when is Smart Guys coming back? When are you going to do stuff with John Rambo? Well, I did actually contact John Rambo today, and I said, how are you doing? You know, it's been a couple weeks since we talked. I want to be sure everything's going okay with you, and what do you think about maybe doing Smart Guys this coming weekend? And John did respond, but he said basically that he's doing well. However, he is still working on the final episode of Shinaz Man, A Whole Punch. It is taking a long time to get through, and he knows that it's still going to be a ton of work. So he basically said at, he's going to at least need two more weeks before he can even say that he could possibly do Smart Guys and a new show that we are working on. It's just going to be us basically shooting the shit, talking about all the stuff that we've done in the past few weeks. He'll talk about East Coast stuff. I'll talk about West Coast stuff. We'll compare. I'll talk about the move. It's going to be a really good show where we get to kind of get caught up every week this, you know, around the, the, on the same time that we're actually filming Smart Guys. And we haven't got a name for it yet. Some people have just call it shooting the shit. I don't know if that's what I want to call it, but... uh. That's going to be coming too, but that's going to at least be two weeks away. So not this coming weekend, possibly the weekend after, but it's all a Rambo. You know, I don't want to pressure him into anything. And he said he is very well, uh, you know, inundated with working on Shinaz Man a whole bunch. I said, that's perfectly fine, John. Let's come back and talk about it in a couple weeks, and we'll see how you're doing that. So there's your answer to that. Okay. So... That is it for the very first week in preview from Washington. I thank you all for being here, whether it's on stream or whether it's on YouTube. Again, I apologize for the off stream times this week. The best way for you to know when I'm streaming and what I'm streaming is to follow me on Twitter, at they call me DSP, because things could be changing on the fly, and I want to keep you guys in the know, especially if there is a last minute change or something's going on. That's how you can find out. So check that out, and I will see you guys tomorrow for more Sniper Elite. I will see you for hopefully the Watch Dogs DLC and a special vlog showing my car when it arrives. All right, everybody? Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.